Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can tell if you joined us for yesterday, is praying seven days of praying through loss Bible study on the YouVersion app. If this is your first day joining us, we have the YouVersion app on the on a device. It's actually even on the computer. You can um, on Google Chrome they have apps, and you can go ahead and you can select it and download it there so that you can do it on the computer if you're a person who works on the computer. They have Bible studies of all shapes and sizes, and this one is called Seven Days of Praying Through Loss. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Jerry Ann. Um, you're seeing this on day two of um, two days after I lost my little brother suddenly, so I am dealing with this. I'm doing this Bible study with my husband. Um, who will do his portion and then we'll be able to write notes back and forth to each other. Um, obviously, I live with him, so it's a different story. But um, if you have friends and family that don't live with you, then you can go ahead and you can join them or participate with them in a Bible study as well. You can search many different topics. There's a search feature. It's a very good thing. This is not a sponsored blog or anything. It's just a really good resource. You can also pick through, I, I feel like I want to say dozens but there's probably a hundred, but the dozen translations and dozens of languages that you can pick to download your Bible app. So if you're seeing this in another country and English isn't your first language, feel comfortable to go look and see if they have something for you. So this is day two of seven days of grieving, praying through loss. Today's devotional. Um, and forgive the top of my head. Put on the belt of truth. Let's pray. Father, in my loss, I feel unstable, shaken. I pray that you will sustain me as I put on the belt of truth. Thank you for being with me even in my darkest sorrow. Lord, I pray that the enemy would not gain a foothold through devastating loss. God, please help me so that this loss doesn't create in me a root of bitterness that Satan can use to take me down. The wrong path. I don't want this loss, Lord, but I have to trust that you are a good God who chooses and allows what is best for me, even in this. In Christ's name, amen. Um, I mentioned it yesterday that, um, just to give you an example, that the Bible app... On the belt of truth, let's pray. Father, in my loss, I will read to you if you have any visual impairments. Um, today's, the, the Bible studies come usually with a devotional and then some scripture and then, um, and then a place for you to write how you work out um, what that part is. And I'm not going to share that today because I'm actually going to like, think about that. That's one of the things that I I often try to think about before I compose. So, um, like answering the question. So today's first, um, actually this is the only reading today, is from Hebrews 12, 15, and this is the English Standard Version. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble and by it many become defiled based on today's reading what's one thing that god is trying to say to you and normally i will, will just write this myself but i feel like there's a very clear message today um The whole created by loss. Comma. Let it be filled. With. God's grace. So there. Will be. No room for bitterness
four, boom, four, the enemy to enter. Um, so that's it for today. I know that these are going to be, I don't know that these are going to be short. Um, in Bible studies that I've done in the past, sometimes there's four or five different, uh, uh where, you know, pieces of scripture for you to go through. Some are lengthy. This one uh, yesterday and today have been kind of, uh, short, which is actually kind of good because, and kind of bad. Like, I guess it's, it, it is, it is what it is. So, um, join us tomorrow. I'll be in a different location and everything, um, that I'm excited for you to be coming on this journey with me. And I want to thank you for doing so. And as always, you guys take care. God bless and see you next time. Bye.